his season debut tomorrow, right? No, well, road debut. Road debut. Yeah, okay. I've never run a road mile, and uh, but I ran at Stanford a few uh, weeks ago. Okay. Um, yeah, I ran the 1500 and 800 there, so yeah. How'd that go? We had. Oh yeah, yeah, it was good. I ran uh, 339, 149, so it was a good, really good opener, um, especially being off for a long time. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy and I'm excited to race in the race. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, last year that was your first full year as a pro. Yeah. And, you know, I would say I thought it went really well. I mean, what were your thoughts on that? What were your takeaways from that season? Yeah, I mean, it was definitely a learning experience. Uh, I thought it was, you know, it was a good year. Like my big goals was I wanted to make the USA final. And I wanted to run 336, and I did both of those, so um, it'd be hard to be too disappointed with it. Um, but you know, just just that whole like transition from you know basically skipping four grades, so to speak. Um, you know, it's it's all it's a whole different like just level of competition, and um, you know, learning to race tactically, learning to you know do rounds, and just learning to like always be in a very competitive like race no matter what race it is was um, a big change but you know it was a good first year and um, I learned a lot and this year is you know going to be going to be great just building off of last year. Yeah and so why, you didn't do an indoor season this year why I guess what was you thinking that? Um, well so I was I had a bad timed uh, injury I had a, a stress fracture in my metatarsal um, from running on like a rocky trail uh, in Boulder and it was just it was um, at the end of October, and so I basically missed all of November, and so I just didn't have, like, we kind of were like, all right, you could, you know, maybe run, run 358, get a qualifier, run USAs, but, like, not be competitive, and we just kind of decided, like, let's train, let's get really fit, um, and let's just, you know, have a really, like, great summer of racing and push, you know, race well until September. So that was kind of the thinking of it, and, and honestly, I think it was, you know, it could have been a, it, it's a blessing in disguise, like, it was the first time I've had like an actual injury or anything like that to take me out and I just you know my body completely reset I cross trained and it was good you know I'm, I'm in a great place I opened up three seconds faster this year than I did last year um, and earlier so um, yeah everything's everything's pointing to you know a good long summer so no world chance this year what, is, what are your goals for this year? Uh, yeah just you know I just want to drop my times race race more um, you know, I'm planning on racing a lot, uh, just because why not? <laughs> that's that's what I like to do is race, and so uh, I'm planning on racing a lot. And you know, I'm still going to go to Des Moines and um, race hard, and you know, try to you know try to uh, you know place as high as possible. But you know, uh, for the most part of the summer, it's just you know going to Europe and racing and getting that experience that I need. You know, just racing these guys at this level. I, I think at this point in my career, that's what I need to practice is just racing very competitive races. So. Is there a time in mind you'd like to hit? I mean, I just want to improve, like last year I ran 336, so I'd love to run 335, 334. Um, I figure if I can drop, you know, a second or so every year, second and a half, two seconds, like I'll be in a very good place come 2020 um, in the 1500s. So, uh, yeah, that's just kind of the, you know, the game plan. And uh, I'm still like, I'm still, I, I I've run like less than 10, 1500s in my life. Like I'm still so new to you know racing and um, racing that distance and just you know mastering it. And that's kind of like my goal is just to master that craft of the 1500. Um, really, you know, really just try to uh, make a push for that uh, 2020 like team. Well, do you think you would do a 5K at any point? Um, not this year, just because I missed like basically like a month, month and a half of training. Um, and I think I'm in good shape, but I, you know, I, last year, like, uh, I had no interruptions and I trained for a 5K and unfortunately the weather and there was no pacer, so it didn't, you know, the stars didn't align for a great fast race at Stanford, or at Peyton. But, um, but, you know, next year I definitely do think I'll run a 5K, but not this year. This year I'm gonna actually race some under distance. Like, I ran an 800 to open up, like, out at Stanford. Like, I wanna race a few more 800s. And I really wanna get, get my leg speed down and, um, then hope to you know move up to the five uh, eventually. So. No, so I live with a group of guys and train with a group of guys now. Um, we have a we have a team out there. Uh, we're called Tim Man Elite, um, and it's me, Sam Parsons, um, NC State alum, Reed Fisher. He ran a Drake, uh, just ran twenty eight thirty eight in the ten, and then another guy, Tyler Mueller. He's run sixty three low in the half. Um, and so it's a great group of guys. Like you know, we all work out together, we live together, um, and it's good. You know, I've never had training partners, so you know, just to have guys like every day that you know I can train with. There's no egos. There's no like anyone pushing the pace when we don't need to be. And 
um, I've never had that before, so it's really special to have kind of, you know, uh, a tight-knit group to work together with. Great. Well, it sounds like yeah. things are going really good. Yeah. Thank you.